Okay, now we're gonna quickly move on to calculating the sample mean, and you can do this with a formula in Excel, and we did that in a previous video, but I'm gonna show you how to do it manually so you understand the inputs to the formula and what it actually represents. So we're gonna do that on the, uh, the BMI column here, so column I. Uh, and to do this, the first thing that we need to do is sum all of the values in that sample. So I'm just gonna put the word sum in here so I know what this is. And then in cell I8, we're gonna say equals, and then we're gonna spell the word sum, and the formula comes up for us automatically. I'm gonna hit tab so it creates the open parenthesis, and then we just need to give it a range of numbers that we want it to sum, and so that's I2 all the way through I6. And you'll see that in the formula, I2 colon I6 means we want that whole range of data, and then we're just gonna use a closing parenthesis here and hit enter, and that sums our data for us. Okay, that's the first input is, is a summary of the data. The second thing we need to do is our n, our sample size. We need to know how many records we're talking about. And to do that, we're gonna use the equal sign again in cell I9, and we're gonna type in the word count, okay? And what count does is counts the numbers of cells in the range uh, that actually contain a number, all right? And so I'm gonna leave my selection on the word count and hit tab and that'll create the open parenthesis for me and then I, again i just need to give it the same range i just gave it before and then a closing parenthesis all right there's five samples in there it sums to 119 and now we need to create our uh, formula for the mean or the average here okay and to do that uh, we're going to go over and say that uh, cell i10 equals uh, the, the first cell, which is the sum, divided by the second cell, which is how many we have in our sample, and then we'll hit enter. And so the average for this data set is 23.79. Now again, I, I mentioned that we can do the mean another way. Uh, if we use a regular formula, you saw this before, where I can say equals average and take the average and give it that range, and hopefully it should came up, come up with the same number if I expand the, uh, the decimal places there, you'll see it. So now you know sort of how the inputs work to that average formula and how it's actually calculated. You also got to use the sum formula, which you're going to use throughout the courses you take, and also the ability to count cells that actually have number values in them. So a blank cell, for example, wouldn't be counted since it doesn't have any data and wouldn't be part of the sample. So that's how you manually create a sample mean.